What is up, everyone? And I would love to welcome you all back to Hypolite Drifter. Now, we know back in 2016, basically since almost the beginning of 20, well, actually, like on March 31st, 2016, I believe it was, Hypolite Drifter came out and I started my adventures with this game. When 2017, it's, been, it's past March, so it's already, it's already a year old. It's like a, It's been a few months since then. And we are back. We're back with something special. Something that I've been waiting to do. I was actually thinking that we were going to do this on a one-year anniversary, but no, this came a little bit later. I want to do a walkthrough of this game. Okay? And we're going to do something a little bit special. But before I show you what's special about it, let's, let's look at a few things. Because I originally tried to record this and got hella interrupted. So badly that I was like, screw it, it's going to stall all over again. <laughs> so, hopefully, second time's a charm, and no one's going to interrupt me. Because God willing, if someone interrupts me, I will bust someone in their fucking face. I am that serious about it. Okay? So, the a few things I want to show off before we get into the big meat of this, okay? Let's get started. So, as you can see, does something look a little different? Something should. Because this was not a thing. And uh, I guess I gotta add one more one more thing <laughs> to my complete uh, playthrough of High Play Drifter. But that's this is gonna be much this is gonna be later, much later. <laughs> one thing at a time. We did the playthrough, we did the blind run playthrough of this game. So what am I doing this time? I wanna do like I said, I wanna do a walkthrough. I think I said that. Well I wanna do a walkthrough. Of this game um it's been about about five six months almost half a year since i've played this game and i want to do a walkthrough for two reasons one i want to help out people that are trying to find everything in the game first and foremost secondly i want to see how good my memory is with playing with this game and as thirdly they actually changed a few things. So, yeah, this could be a thing. <laughs> we could see something new, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go ahead and let's start up a new game again. And hopefully I won't get interrupted again. And I won't have to do this again. So, yeah, let's do this. Now, this is something else new that they added on to um, Hyperlight Drifter. They, there's been some updates, obviously. These are new to me. I literally saw them for the first time today. So I was just like, wow, it's been a while. Because literally, I've been playing this game on the PS4 and a little bit on the Xbox One. Look, if this game actually came on the Wii U and Nintendo didn't dick over the person who made this game, I would have this on the Wii U too. So hopefully, Nintendo got their head out their asses and we can get this game on the Switch. Because that would make me really happy so I can play this game on the go. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But, as we can see, we have some new options. If you're new to this game, we have newcomers. Basically, it's a not as hard difficulty, <laughs> but you don't, you can't unlock any of the achievements. So, if you're going to go down this route, if you want this to be your first playthrough, and you just, you're just not sure, you can go for this. However, I feel like everyone should just play the standard. Alright, you should just... You should just suck it up like the rest of us did when we first got the game and this play standard mode. It's it's the the accurate difficulty for this game. You get to unlock your achievements and whatnot if you care about that kind of thing. That's a thing here. And yeah. And New Game Plus. It says beware for good reasons. We will get to that later. <laughs> Much later. But then we also have this. New Game Alt. We get to play as an alternate character. I've seen this character before with the updates on the Kickstarter and whatnot. And it was even someone who, people who, um, I guess, pledged enough money got the open access to play this character. And now it's open to everyone. Thank you. I was hoping this would be the one year anniversary because it seemed like the most logical thing to do. But there was, they did something else. I'm not going to go there. But, um... Now we can all play as the alternate character. And, uh... 
I'll try to get this video up fairly soon as to where I'm recording this because I saw this on Twitter and it was saying how you can get the alternate character for free. I don't know how much the character is off the get-go or is this going to be free from this point on, but I will try to get this video up so at least people know what I'm doing, okay? So, we will place the alternate character, and we're going to try to find everything. We'll do a 100% run of this game, which means it's one part of this game I'm probably going to cut out because reasons. Anyways, let's get started. Now, like I said, I was playing for a good 28 minutes, and all hell broke loose in my house. So, I nicknamed this character as Wolf. So, what we're going to do is delete. Oh, that's back. I don't want to go back. I'm sorry, I'm playing on the PlayStation, and they're giving me Xbox controllers, and I don't know what what even the hell. This is do? Okay. There we go. We just deleted that foul. So, um, like I said, I played a little bit, I got interrupted, and I just like, screw it, let's start over, and uh, here we are. So, like I said, let's jump into this. Uh, I'm going to name my character Wolf again. Uh, some of you might be wondering why would I name it wolf because one My if I had a spirit animal, it'd be a wolf. Okay, I'm just I'm just saying that's, that's totally would be my animal um, I've I've always liked wolves. I know that's probably like I think a good majority of everyone likes wolves mostly I don't know it seems to be a big thing, but I really love wolves so I'm naming this wolf and besides, the alternate character kind of looks like a wolf anyway, so yay for that. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, <laughs> a little interruption with that. But as you can see here, this is our character. Looking, I, I'm not gonna lie, I like how it looks. <laughs> and we have two of the uh, thing, so one's like literally right behind me in all angles, and I don't really know what the point of that is. And um, let's just get a few things started. Let's go view map. And it's gonna do the obvious cutscenes that we see in the very beginning of the game as well. So that's the thing, we got our dash. Look at the nose of this. <laughs> that looks really cool. Uh, if we go to the map, obviously we can see our whole little map here. We're going to go through all of these sections. Now, for the purpose of this video, of this getting you guys introduction, like the introduction video to the whole walkthrough, um, I can at least tell you guys, each, after this video, each section is going to get a dedicated video. And then there's going to be a cleanup video because with so many sections, I would have to come back anyway, whether I need keys or, 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 or whatnot. And that's probably a good thing. That's a good side way to go on because throughout this walkthrough, this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be getting 32. Um, oh, I can't read. <laughs> Let's go from the bottom to the top. Okay. Let's go with the least amount to the top. So we're gonna get 10 outfits and accessories. That's all the clothing and the, what was the sword or the bean katana and the little Android thing to float. I don't know if you get like new combinations of hitting. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's 10 of those that we need to collect. There is 186 gear bits in this game. There are 12 keys to get, there are tw uh, 16 monoliths, and then there's 32 why am I blinking on? I'm looking at this word and I can't even pronounce it. And it's like I've said it before. Models? Mollus? We got monoliths. I can't. Oh, wow. I'm. Look. It'll all be in the description of this video. And watch it come back to me like a dumbass and be like, that's how you pronounce the word. And I. Right now, I just I can't think of it. But those are all the things that we need to collect. Ah, I can't get to it. So, 
throughout this whole uh, walkthrough, I will be showing you how to collect all of them, where everything is. Now, my only thing is, because there has been updates since the last time I played this game, things have changed a little bit. They've added sceneries to the game, and they might have added more gear bits. So, I'm putting that into consideration. So, we got that. Also, if... Uh, that's not the one. Oh, they won't let me use the other... Oh, there we go. All right, I was I was trying to wonder like what where it happened. So these are all this is all underground. Obviously, this is the last area here. But as you can see, I can't get the full map of this, which is kind of weird. Yeah, well, let me do the full map. But obviously, we gotta get the guns too, which I should also put like we're gonna get the weapons. But I think the weapons and the guns are in, and the bombs and that stuff are all in town, and I'll show you guys all that right now. But yeah, we have a lot of stuff to collect. It's gonna be really kind of daunting, which also means that each video is probably gonna be a lot longer than what you guys are gonna be expecting. I'm estimating that each video past this point is probably going to be an hour long. We have warp um, pedestals. Which is like, I believe like this is about four and whatnot. So that's something that we're going to have to look at and whatnot. So like I said, there's a lot of stuff to do. A lot of stuff to do. And I know I'm kind of rambling. In this first video, I, I'm actually kind of curious. What else do we get? Now, when I played the first time, I didn't look at this stuff. But I'm a little bit curious to see what we can get. So let's go ahead, take a look at the, the places below talk to some people right now I can't get any guns because I believe I'm supposed to find these guns so we have we come up with the main gun and I like how to have the other uh, our, our drifter character here but the rest of the guns we will find along the way so we have five more guns to find along the way so I should probably add that on there too five guns we're looking for five more guns but we can also increase the ammo with the gear bits, and we'll do that at a much later date. So we have that. We go in here. Talk to this guy quick. He tells us about the bombs that we get. There's two different kind of bombs. Well, is there really two different kind of bombs? I never really thought about this. If there was two different kind of bombs, or I could just do two bombs when I upgrade it. But we have the bombs. That's a thing. This area right here, we will deal with this later. <laughs> much, much later. I still, I, I haven't even shown y'all what that area is all about. Uh, obviously, we have people to talk to, but I'm not going to deal with that. If you really want to know about the motor story, you should probably watch, watch the blonde run. This guy would give us two things of units of health. Again, I like how they're not showing our character, but the regular protagonist. So... That's the thing. But the two that I'm kind of... Well, there's one of these areas that I'm really kind of curious about. And I'm probably going to show off last. So we have to dash. Which, uh... Guess what? Getting that gear bit's going to be a pain and the... Well, actually, that's not the pain in the ass. Getting this is going to be the pain in the ass. But that's getting ahead of ourselves right now. Because we can't even do a chain at the moment. But... If you look here, of course, we're going to need that. We have this and this. And like I said, this is this will also be things that we'll be unlocking as we continue throughout the game. But the one thing that I'm curious about, this one. This is the one I'm curious about because the, the regular Drifter had like a sword and stuff, right? So... Like, do I get something that's like this? Like, I, I would thought I would get to see like, some kind of preview, but I don't. And I don't know how I feel about that. So, I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, guys. We have one hell of an adventure to get started with. So, I'm going to... End things off. I know this wasn't a long video, it wasn't supposed to be a long video, but this kind of an introduction of what we need to do in this game. So, to recap, we need to find five guns. 
we need to find 10 of the outfits plus accessories, 186 gear bits, 12 keys, 16 monoliths, and 32 modules! That was the word. I knew it would come back to me. And before I end this video off, let me, I'm saying this now. If you're someone that wants to go to the game and you don't want any kind of spoilers or whatnot, do not watch the walkthrough. Go ahead and watch the blind run if you want to, but you'll be, probably still be spoiled because I find everything in that game too. But let me be perfectly clear. If you're someone that just wants to experience the game for themselves and you want to find everything on your own and you don't want any help, do not watch this video. Okay, do not watch these videos. If you are someone that needs help trying to find things, these videos should totally help you out. Okay, they should they should help you out, and and that's the purpose of these videos. They are just supposed to be a walkthrough guide, so that way I can show you where everything is at and whatnot. So that being said. I hope to see you guys in the next video and obviously I will explain in more details in the next video how I'm going to go about showing you guys how to find everything. But with all that being said, hope you all have a fantastic and amazing day. Please take care of yourself. As always, stay coolly and I will see you all in my next video. Until then, later.